down tuned into TSL exclusives, and we're sitting here with the one and only Dr. Heavenly. How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you for having me. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you for taking the time out to have this sit down with us. Oh, no problem at all. It's my honor. <laughs> How was your day so far? My day has been excellent. I got up this morning and I came to see y'all. That's it. So good. That's great. It's a good day. <laughs> so for those that don't know, can you give them a little background about you? Okay, my name is Heavenly Kimes. I'm known as Dr. Heavenly. I'm originally from Miami, Florida, and they know I'm kind of from the hood a little bit. A little I bit. am too. <laughs> and, you know, and I guess what I try to do is inspire young women to be all they can be. Um, you know, being from my background, I was able to utilize my name, my talents, my other things to actually get a doctor's degree in dental surgery and then from there become an entrepreneur. But it's always been more important for me to be a wife and a mother. And speaking of uh, your career, what made you want to become a dentist? Well, um, as you see, in essence, Ebony Black Enterprise, I have this question asked all the time. Um, originally, my major was pre-med, but um, a recruiter came from a Harry Medical College, and he offered me dentistry. And in dentistry, I just wanted to be a doctor, but I didn't want to be on call. I didn't want to have a long residency. And you make more money, so I chose dentistry, and actually, I was pretty good at it. And you are an entrepreneur because outside of being a dentist, you are an author. Absolutely. Um, not only am I an author, I have my real estate license, my Series 65, and my insurance license. So I kind of have a long uh, list of things that I've done to educate myself as a business money and relationship expert. Okay. Um, can you tell us a little more? more about your books? Oh, sure. Yes. Um, so many people ask me, Dr. Heavenly, how can you be a mother of three? have four dental practices, several real estate uh, 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 businesses, and keep your husband happy at the same time. So, so many people asked me that I thought I should put my thoughts on paper. So I came out with Dr. Heavenly's business prescriptions because business is not just business, it's about life and relationships as well. So that's, that's my story. You also have a radio show, yes. so can you tell us a little more about that? Yes, the Dr. Heavenly radio show actually was started because of the book, and I didn't realize so many people um, wanted to hear what I had to say about business. Actually, I didn't think I was doing anything big, you know, <laughs> because I ran several dental practices. My husband has his own practice in Roswell, and we own uh, several real estate um, uh, commercial and residential properties, um, people ask me how am I able to do what I do, and I thought it was normal, actually. And then when I got to talking to people, I realized I do know a lot. <laughs> so I started my radio show. People call in, ask questions about business, they ask questions about money, and they ask questions about relationships because I've been with my man 20 years. Oh, congratulations. 20 years. Yeah, we've been married almost 17. And speaking of your husband, I know he played a key role yes. as yes. far as your career is concerned. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, my husband has always been the background, backbone to everything I've done. And I don't know if you know the story, but my first dental practice, my credit wasn't good. As so <laughs> many of us, my credit right. wasn't good. But I had a nice bedroom suit. I had a nice car. I had yeah. everything. And you know, this brother comes along, my husband, yeah. he got a raggedy car. Uh -huh. <laughs> he ain't got no furniture, mm. but he got good credit. Right. He got good credit. <laughs> so absolutely, he believed in what I was doing and he actually co-signed for my first business and I took it from there. Yeah. So he's very been very instrumental in everything. He, he, he believed in you. He believed in me. And not only that, he taught me so much about speaking things into existence and just having confidence in myself. And your empire doesn't end right there because tell us more about Dr. Heavenly Academy. Right, it's um, Dr. Heavenly University, and basically it was started with the book in mind, and I didn't realize that so many people were either in business or wanted to have a business, but they didn't know where to start. So I took all my resources, which I had in my cell phone, and was like, hey, we need to put, a, put together a seminar to teach people how to start and run a successful business. And from that, we came up with Business in a Bundle, and what that is is an online business where we help you start a business from scratch to make money because the number one reason people didn't have money uh, to start a business is they didn't have the money right. or they just were scared. So we actually talked them through that. We talked them about God. We got them a good attorney, which you're going to need, right. you know, and we kind of moved on from there. Yeah. Right. You also have an event with Dr. Simone. And before we even touch yeah. base yeah. on Mary to Medicine yeah. Season 2, let's talk about your event on 
May the 2nd. Okay. Yeah, Dr. Heavenly University, our next event, this is our third event, Dr. Heavenly University. Originally, I started Dr. Heavenly University with dentists in mind because I knew a lot of dentists were in business. Because when we go to school, we don't learn anything about business. We just know the clinical aspect of business. So, so many dentists were either running out of business, and we make a lot of money, but you got to be able to balance it, and you got to be able to budget it because the overhead is high. So, so many dentists were having problems keeping their practices afloat. I said, hey, let me do this, and then I got a PACE approved. So that means they get CE credits for coming. But I realized not only dentists and physicians needed this help, everybody needed it. So I opened it up this time to everybody. If you want to run a, a shoe store, if you want to run a hair salon, if you want to run a restaurant, business is business, and it's all the same. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, before we say... <laughs> <laughs> well, before we switch gears, I must say, I was sitting here and I was looking at the book here, yes. and I see um, Get the Body You Want. Yes. Can we talk about the weight loss? Because you look amazing. Can we talk about that? Um, you know, I have, I have three children. Um, my last baby I had when I was 35 years old, and I gained a lot of weight. I gained about... 100 pounds uh, over the, over time, you know, eating, living good. You know, I love my man, yeah. so we've been together <laughs> and we trying to get, but um, yes, um, you say you didn't want to talk about marriage to medicine, but um, when we first, when I first met Mariah, she called me her full figure friend and that hurt my feelings so, and I didn't do it for her, don't get me wrong, but I thought I was fine, cause my husband always treated me, but when I looked at my pictures and stuff, I said, hey, you know what? I do need to lose weight. So I thank her yeah. for bringing that forward to me, cause I, I you know, and um, yeah, I put my mind to it, and um, I had tried surgery way before, it did not work for me, and um, about 2012, I just got on a strict regimen. Um, I got a nutritionist. He, she basically showed me what I could eat every day. Even if I ate out, yeah. she went to the restaurant. She told me exactly what I could order. Um, I got a personal trainer, and he helped me. We work out three days a week, and then he gives me homework the other three days. And then it's 70 to 80% your diet. So right. I had to pick out and start planning my meals and just be focused. The same prescriptions for my business is the prescriptions for the weight loss. Right. It's perseverance, being um, discipline is the most important thing. Discipline, yeah. So with that being said, let's switch gears a little bit. What was it like transitioning from the office to television? Wow, you know, <laughs> I I would have never thought in my, in my life yeah. that I would have done reality TV. Um, initially, when they brought it to me, I said, no, 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 I would never yeah. do it. <laughs> and the second time around, Shoot, they had two million viewers, which made a difference. Right. And it was something real to me because before I didn't know what it was. I got right. to see what it was. I knew the women beforehand because our husbands all worked together right. in the ER. So um, um, when the casting lady came, she said, uh, well, why won't you do the show? And I said, well, you know, I don't know how it's going to affect my business. I don't know what's, what it's going to do, and I don't have any creative control. I'm, I'm a control freak if you hadn't oh, figured right. that out. And she told me to call Dr. Jackie. So I actually um, called Dr. Jackie up, and I called Simone as well. And I said, Jackie, um, what would make someone like yourself already successful in your own right do a reality TV show? And she said, basically, Heavenly, you know, I've had breast cancer. I've been through a lot. And she said, if I could save one life on this show without the rigmarole of the drama and stuff like that, if I could actually inspire one person, one girl, because the interesting thing that Simone brought to me, she said, Heavenly, not one show that I know of, every one of the castmates has a college degree. More than half of them have doctor's degree. And not only that, we're all married and we have families. And I think that that's what the world needs to see as African Americans. So once they told me all that, and you know, Simone's kids go to the same school as mine, because my concern yeah. was my children. And she said it didn't affect her kids in any way. And of course, I ain't gonna do nothing crazy anyway. <laughs> so. I said, let's try it. Let's go for it. You know, because I feel like I have something to offer Dr. Heavenly University with our business in a bundle system and our books and stuff. I thought, hey, it might be a great way to um, bring some great things to other people. I definitely agree with you. So what was your relationship like with the cast members, you know, before you came on board? Were you friends with any of the women beforehand? And which relationships, you know, did you make, you know, on the show? Okay. Well, you know, I knew most of the ladies. Um, I knew Quad, I knew Mariah, I knew uh, Toya. Um, Lisa Nicole, I just recently met. And then the doctors, I met them once or twice at events, but I didn't know them that well, so. 
And what, is, what has your experience been like thus far on the show? Would you say, you know, because a lot of people say that reality, reality television is somewhat of a gift and a curse. What, you know, so what is your personal opinion on it you thus know, far? I think it's all about mindset, because I had a good time <laughs> telling these women what I thought, really. I mean, it was never a problem. Um, you know, Dr. Jackie, she had an issue saying a dentist wasn't a doctor. You know, we had to get her straight on that. <laughs> I think that... You know, a woman like me probably intimidates a lot of women, and she didn't know how to take me, being that my husband's a physician, and I'm a doctor, and I had several businesses. It was a bit too much for Dr. Jackie, because Dr. Jackie was always up here. Then when she got somebody here that's kind of maybe here, she kind of felt, you know, they always said that um, I got up under her skin. And nobody else could do that. Because, like, if somebody said something to Jackie, you know, she's very she prim and proper. Yeah. <laughs> She'd say something like, oh, my, that's good for you, you know? She but when I would say things to her, <laughs> you'll see something different. And what is your relation relationship like with M Mariah and Quad? You know, I love both of them. I hate, you know, I don't, I don't know what I could say about that. Um, I think they're both great women. They're both a lot alike, in my opinion. They're both outgoing. They're both smart ladies, very intelligent women, as is everybody on the cast. Um, my relationship is good with both of them. Do we get to see within the series, do we get to see you build new relationships, you know, a stronger relationship, lose relationships with the women, et cetera? I don't know how much I could talk about it, but I will tell you this. Um, this show is better than Scandal. Okay. We got drama, we got real life issues, real women issues, and we keep it classy. We keep it classy, we do. What did you think of the first season? You know, were you a fan of the first season? You know, were there any issues that you've had? You know, in viewing it yourself, where you said, okay, well, she stepped out of character, or this isn't something I personally would have done. Was there any, you know? You know, I, I've learned never to say never. You know, and I mean, just to be perfectly honest, never say never. You never know what you're going to do. But I don't think I would do what they did in the first season. And I think that that's why they brought me into the next season to kind of build up the classiness, if you will, of the show. Because it kind of got a little bit out of hand. But um, I think that... Uh, I think that anything could happen with anyone, especially dealing with different issues and, you know, and stuff like that. But I have a great relationship with all the women. They're all very intelligent, good people, and just put in a different situation that I don't think normally most people get in. And speaking about reality shows, because mm -hmm. nowadays that's all you see on, right. on TV. It's a money maker. Yes. Obviously. What are some of your favorites? You know what? I have to be <laughs> honest with you. I don't watch reality TV. No, really? no, I'm busy, baby. You know, I'm running businesses. I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah. I just don't watch it. I don't. I don't know if that's bad to say. No, it's not. But um, <laughs> I'll be watching this because it's better than Scandal here. <laughs> but normally, I don't watch. No. I can't tell you. Like, they bring up names of all the people. I don't know who the hell they are. I promise you, I don't. I know Oprah. I know Beyonce. That's about it. All right. <laughs> that's about it. How has Bravo welcomed you? Oh, man, they've been awesome. They've been awesome. Um, I, you know, I haven't seen the show, but I think it's going to be phenomenal. They treated me really good. I mean, they walked my hand through everything. But, you know, I'm kind of a natural. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just was myself. So, um, Bravo was good. I can't say nothing bad about Bravo. If you were uh, offered a spinoff, what would the spinoff be about? If Dr. Heavenly was, <laughs> I'm going to say they probably are going <laughs> to offer me a spin-off. But um, Dr. Heavenly, it probably would be about business because I'm straightforward. I do know business. Um, and one thing that I do is I, tr I try not to BS people. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes yes. in business. I made uh, probably all of them that you can do. But one thing about me, and I say that I'm an expert, is I could tell you what's going to happen. I could tell you, yeah, if you if something happened in your business and this go down, I'm going to tell you who to call, oh, okay. well, how to get it straight, how to I'm do it. Yeah, down. absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So not only do I have all of these, you know, degrees yeah. and, and, and licenses and different things like that, I've been through the school of hard knocks. I've been in business yeah. for almost 20 years, and I've been through everything. So. And with that being said, I know you have a lot of different businesses. What is your favorite business, and what is your least favorite? And, you know, if you look back and you said, I wish I didn't invest in that, or I wish I didn't get into that, Absolutely. you know? That's an easy question for me. My passion in my soul is Dr. Heavenly University, because I don't make no money from it. I 
I just do it because I want to inspire individuals. Um, I want to inspire young women to know they can come from the inner city schools. They can come from, they don't have to come from private schools and things like that. And they can actually make it exactly. through discipline, work hard, do your homework. I got a full scholarship to undergrad. Um, I graduated number five in my class because I studied. And that's the and that's the pleasure of being successful. That's it. That you take the time out to give back to your I community. Gotta do it. You I have gotta to. Do it. Absolutely. I have to do it. I feel like it's in my soul. It's an obligation for me to give back and let women know, young girls, that you can do it. You know, you can do whatever you want to. And that's what Dr. Heavenly University is about. And what was your least favorite investment? I would say my least favorite investment is, and always has been, um, residential real estate. Um, I don't understand how people can get an attitude yeah. with you when you call them for their rent, for your rent, <laughs> and you're paying the mortgage and you're fixing right. everything and you got everything going on and they actually talk bad to you because you want the rent. Right. And then I don't understand the law as to why I have to go to court to put you out of my damn house. I don't understand that. But the world's not fair and you have to abide by the laws. But yeah, uh, residential, I'd probably only do commercial moving forward. Moving forward. Okay, and with that being said, now as far as the show is concerned, you know, a lot of different reality shows bring in new cast members, et cetera, and the cat, you know, the newest cast member, you know, is basically put in, you know, put in a magnifying glass, you know, in regards to what exactly they do, et cetera. Do you feel you're the breakout star in this new season? I wouldn't say breakout star because we have some phenomenal people on the show, but they actually really did bring it to me, and I think I came out you know, fighting. I, I did. I think I did a good job. I do. I think that they came in not knowing who I was because my name is Heavenly and I am a proper lady. I am. However, however, <laughs> don't cross me. I mean, if you come to me, I'm going to tell you what I think. And I think that's the great thing about Dr. Heavenly. So who was the most challenging cast member? Like who, who gave you the, who gave you the hardest time God. when you, <laughs> actually y'all already said it actually to me, for me, Dr. Jackie gave me the hardest time, and I was so unexpected because I was wow. thinking the wives. Okay. I was thinking the wives, you know, they got their thing, but no, I knew them, so they knew better, probably. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking, and Dr. Jackie didn't know, and Simone, you know, that's her best friend, so. And I see it as, she, I guess she was very unterritorial, and the fact that you came in, and you have so many uh, um, achievements under your belt, she saw it as a threat. Possibly, you know, I, I, I feel that she probably was the most successful person on the show before myself and Lisa Nicole came along, and she wasn't the baddest one no more, you know what I mean? So I think that it was the point where she needed to bow down. What is your relationship like with Lisa Nicole? Um, you know, I don't know Lisa as well as I know the other ladies. Um, I think she's a phenomenal woman because I had my thoughts on network marketing, you know, whatever. But what I've learned is business is business. And Lisa Nicole could have done any business in the world and made it successful because she's a businesswoman. And she is bad, I love her. I think she's wonderful. Now speaking from a business standpoint, forget the personal relationships of all the women and everything they have going on. Who do you respect the most in regards to business? You know what I mean, in regards to what they do as far as business is concerned. Okay. That's an easy question for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is. Lisa Nicole, all absolutely day. all day. I mean, Dr. Jackie, they have a business in OB. Right. That's all they know is OB. And they might know some claims or whatever, procedure codes or mm -hmm. something like that. Lisa Nicole knows business because not only has she taken a business that's unorthodox in a sense that most people don't make money with that. She's taken it and brought her marketing skills. She has a degree from John Hopkins, and she took her own money and built a tour, had PR people with this. I mean, if she teach you how to do that business, you could be successful too, but it's the same traits as any business. So I've learned probably the most from her. Um, I probably in business respect her the most as far as with marketing and stuff like that. Lisa Nicole, hands down. And then last question. I don't know how I don't know how to you know no 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 I don't know how to word it correctly, but I'm just saying you know who <laughs> Well with that being said, you know, because you respected Lisa the most who did you feel, okay, I need to teach her something because she knows nothing. Come on now, that's too easy of a question. Come on. But you know what? I could say I could probably want to teach her, but she don't want to learn. She's just trying to buy her some clothes and new shoes come out. She could tell you what purse this is. These are the things that I did not know I'm learning as far as like the name brands and label hoes, what y'all call it or whatever. But uh, Toya, I think that she probably could benefit the most from my business prescriptions, my uh, 
probably relationship prescriptions and saving money. I'm sorry. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. You're okay. Just being I mean. <laughs> I mean, but I like her. Don't get me wrong. I love her. Don't get me wrong. No, no, no. No, no. Because, no, I think that Toya owns it. I mean, her husband allows her to stay home. He allows her to spend the money like a damn fool. It don't matter to him. So, date works for them. So, I have to respect that. And, and I can't say that. But go ahead. In fact, I, yeah. I, but, yeah. I'm saying. No, no, no. No, no. Watch the show. Watch the show. How long? do you plan on staying on married to medicine say for example if they get signed on for three more season do you see yourselves i don't know if i can answer that question either no. but y'all ain't seen that bravo <laughs> contract baby you ain't gonna i mean everything is relative yes okay. you know what i mean it <laughs> might be right to somebody mm -hmm. well, for okay. me it ain't i mean for you it's, it's not right i mean you know, I mean, I was very successful before the show. Okay. So I didn't do it probably for the money. I probably did it more for the exposure to actually getting my, my thoughts out there and helping women, you know, with so their businesses. Do you, see, do you see yourself retiring anytime soon? Um, Actually, um, retiring from what? From on the dentist. No, I'm, I mean, no, because dentistry will always be my first because I went to school and I love it. I love making people beautiful. That's something that I do and I love doing. Um, I don't think I'm the type of person to ever retire. Am I that old? Damn, y'all talking about retirement? No, 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 no. Retirement has no age. Right, you're right. But um, <laughs> no, I, I don't see myself retiring anytime soon with anything. I can see myself limiting certain things to make okay. time for other things, but um. Not leaving dentistry, no, that's not in the plan. How do you balance your career and your personal life? That's a great question. Um, watch the show. No, um, <laughs> actually, all of my April the 6th, okay. Uh, <laughs> honestly, a lot of my balancing tips are you ever really balanced? Yeah. No, absolutely yeah. not. Sometimes I'm at work thinking about the home, sometimes I'm home thinking about work, but because I chose dentistry, I was able to set my own hours. So I work probably three days a week, most weeks, and I work from nine to two, no lunch. So I'm there at home when my kids leave for school, and I'm home when they get off or out of school as well. Um, you know, and my husband, he works, he's able to work uh, less shifts in the ER because he, he really loves spending time with the boys, and I think that's so important. So balance, um, it's difficult. But it is, it's, 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 it can be done based on, you know, you knowing your priorities. And for me, it's God first, then family, then career. So. You see? <laughs> so before we wa wrap up, I just have one more question for you. What has the transition been like in regards to you still owning businesses and being on television? Like, you know, has people treated you differently? You know, when people come into the dentist's office or, you know, come, you know, do they treat you differently? Well, actually, I haven't been on TV yet. Um, our, sh our show debuts April 6th, so people really don't know yet. They're just now finding out. But when y'all did y'all first, when, when they did their first uh, preview commercial, it was amazing how my Twitter blew up. I mean, it was like ding, 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 ding. I mean, I think I got a thousand people in one night. It's amazing. I don't know if I'm prepared for <laughs> as many people as I, you know, as probably going to come. But um, I haven't been on TV yet. I don't know. But um, talking to Simone and Jackie, they say it's a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to Be prepared great to walk things. Every red carpet yes. known to mankind. Right. <laughs> and, and I think that'll be fun. Yes. <laughs> that'll be fun. So with that being said, speaking of Twitter, et cetera, where can your people find you on social media, Twitter, Instagram, et cetera? Oh, you know I'm about business, so I'm really easy. Everything you can find me from at www.drheavenly.com. On Twitter, I'm Dr. underscore Heavenly. Can you believe somebody took Dr. Heavenly? I had to put an underscore in it. I saw that. Yeah, so. so. Mm -hmm. Right. It's Dr. Underscore Heavenly, but you can reach me in everything, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, from my website, which is drheavenly.com. Well, with that being said, it's a TSL exclusive. We thank you so much for hanging with us, and ha we had a blast with you. Wait, wait, I love fashion. Can we talk about what you have on real quick? Can we just get a 360 spin really, really quick? Um, just, I just. do that for you, but I don't know what I No, that's fine. We just, because you look amazing. Brian Lamar, Brian Lamar, and y'all can get him on Instagram, Facebook, and all of that. And he has taken care of me because honestly, I wear scrubs and tennis shoes to work. So I started out a bit rough, y'all work with me. 
but I, um, he's gotten me together, you know, and I'm still getting myself together as far as fashion and stuff like that. Oh, but you look good. Thank you. And she pulls up in an amazing looking car, so yeah. she's good to go. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I like cars. I do. That ain't even my, ni- my nicest car, but y'all going to pray. We're going to thank God for everything. <laughs> And we're going to keep praising them. But, yeah, I can stand up and Please show give you. Give us a 360 spin in regards to the weight loss and the body and all that good stuff you have going on. A lot more curves than y'all used to on, on reality TV. Um, but I have to show the ladies how to do it. You know? Yes. And one thing I've learned is the things, you know, um, no, nah, I ain't going to say that. Say, say that. it. I Speak your that. mind, baby. No, nah, I ain't going to say that. That's so sweet. Y'all so no, sweet. They size yourself. twos. A man don't like no size two, baby. <laughs> He want this fresh six. I'm a strong, I can get an eight of work, I can get in a six. But a two, baby, yeah. <laughs> no, that ain't even realistic. That ain't reality. That ain't what I should be. So, praise the Lord. Well, you look amazing. Thank you. We I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we thank, thank you, you one thank more time you. for hanging with TSL Exclusives. Oh, no problem. And we look forward to partying with oh, you yeah, and absolutely. all that good stuff in absolutely. the near future. Y'all know how to get in contact with yes. me, and I got to give y'all my phone number. Yes. Thank you so much, right, my thank love. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Anytime. <laughs> And it's a TSL exclusive. We out. All right. Say peace. Peace.